So everybody has been talking about Fannie Mae's announcement on October 4th, where they said they were going to be reducing the down payment on all their multifamily properties to 5% down. So the changes apply to your standard purchases, no cash out refinances, Fannie Mae's Home Ready program, and Fannie Mae's Home Style renovation loans. The caveat is that they must be owner occupied. Your borrower needs to occupy at least one of the units. So in the past, um, if you were purchasing a two family property, Fannie Mae required that your borrower put 15% down. But today on a two family, they can now put 5% down and go for a 95 loan to value. Now, on a three to four unit property, we used to require 25% down. And again, now you only need to come up with 5% down. So how does that look? Okay, so let's say your borrower was purchasing a two family property. Well, prior to October 4th, your borrowers would have had to have come up with 15% down or $60,000. But now they only have to come up with $20,000 and that saves them $40,000 on a multi-unit property like a three and four family property where the purchase price would be more, let's say $500,000, you then had to come up with 25% down or $125,000. But with Fannie Mae's new rule that goes into effect today, you again only have to come up with 5%. And that means $25,000 saving your borrowers $100,000. But what's the catch? Well, you will have to come up, your borrower has to come up with the 5% and that can come in the form of a gift, all right? And they have to save at least two to 4% of the purchase price for their closing costs. And the one thing that Fannie Mae is still uh, requiring of their multifamily properties is that your borrower has six months reserves. So if the mortgage payment, let's say was $3,000 a month, they would need to have $18,000 saved. Now that does not have to be in a liquid account. You can use a 401k, uh, you know, something that's non-liquid, but they will require those reserves. So now who's been doing this besides Fannie Mae? Well, forever, the FHA has always done two to four family unit properties at three and a half percent down. So don't disregard the FHA. It's just that they have a different caveat. They may not require the six months reserves, but on anything over two family, they have a self-sufficiency requirement, meaning that the rent income on three and four unit properties must cover the mortgage payment. And that rent income is like 25% vacancy factor. So it's a little bit more difficult uh, to uh, purchase a multifamily property with the FHA at today's interest rates. So what are your thoughts? How would you compare and sell something like this to one of your borrowers? I know first and foremost that some borrowers who may not qualify for a 5% down single family home can now purchase a two family home. And yes, the purchase price might be higher, but that rental income that they're getting on the second unit can now offset their mortgage payment, helping them to qualify and establishing an estate. So think about what it is that you would want to bring out and discuss with regards to this new guideline change and how is it going to benefit you and your customers in the future. So let's begin a little discussion below and see uh, what your thoughts are on these new guideline changes.